But I almost died though. Yeah, I almost died in FT. What's good, YouTube? This is Kenyell. Don't forget the EXO. And today, I'm going to be talking about my basic training experience in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. My basic training experience was a doozy. Uh, my MEPS was in Raleigh, North Carolina, and they shipped me out to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. And then somehow we got on a Bus. I, I don't remember much about that, but I do remember a drill sergeant telling us to put your head between your legs. So we were just scared. We were just doing whatever he said, and they just took us somewhere. I don't know why they were hiding the location. I don't know, but all I know is I had my head between my legs, and I was just hoping that they won't, I don't know, I was scared. All right, we all were scared. If I could have took a picture of everybody on that bus, this is the exact look. Scared. I don't remember how long um, the bus ride was because, like I said, I was scared. All right, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just be honest with you. I was scared. But we finally got to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri in the wee hours of the morning. I think they do that on purpose to have us all sleepy and confused and I think it's a method to their to their madness. But when we first got there, they gave us a little flashcard. They gave us a flashcard to read to your parents. I felt like I had been captured by the enemy. I, I really felt that because the card said, hey mom, hey dad, I have arrived, I am safe, I will contact you later, bye. So I said that, I was reading, I was reading along to my parents and midway through, you hear, hey, I, I, I can't, I, I gotta read this to you. So I read it to them and I hung up. I didn't even get to hear anything, I just heard, hey, push. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. Love you. Bye. So again, we got there around like 3 a.m. Uh, we had to fill out so much paperwork and it was just so hectic, so frantic. They gave us like 20 different uh, pieces of paperwork and we had to make sure they were all where they were supposed to be. Whew. I'm getting I'm, I'm getting just flashbacks now thinking about it, but it was a very stressful time to say the least. So we finished all of our paperwork around like, I don't know, 6 a.m. I think it is. And then we went to sleep. Went to sleep at like 6.30, woke up at like 7.30. We were like zombies the next day. We were like zombies. That first night when you first get there, you're gonna be so out of it. It won't make any sense to you at all. So the next day is the first day of the first week. So that whole first week, um, you haven't met your official drill sergeants yet, but you're doing a lot of in-processing, a lot of shots, a lot of standing in lines. If you thought the DMV is bad, this is 10 times worse. The longest I've been in the line was about two hours. You take a step and you're just standing there for 30 minutes. Take another step, 25 minutes. I am not exaggerating. It's that bad. So when you get there again, it's a lot of yelling um, and you meet your drill sergeants for the first time. Um, they're tough on you, but they're not like tough, tough. They're just, they're yelling at you. They're trying to get you to do things, but they're not the crazy OD type like uh, your real drill sergeants. So that first week is reception, and once you get all your shots and all your paperwork out the way, um, it takes a whole week to fully in process. 
And when you finally finish, the second week begins and that first day is called day zero. Day zero was one of the craziest days of my entire life. I was in uh, Bravo Company 310, first platoon, Black Knights lead the way. But when we first met our drill sergeants, it was like, Imagine mean people times a thousand. That's that's all I got for you. That's all I got for you. That first day um, is meant to break you. Like you have to go into basic training thinking that it's all a mind game. They're trying to break you. They're trying to break you down so they can eventually build you back up. When I tell you. It was like three or four drill sergeants around, certain people telling them to do three or four different things, and you don't know what to do. You doing what he say, now, now she mad. You doing what, what she said, now he, it's, it's, it's not meant to make sense. But like my dad always told me, just play the game. Cause that's, that's really essentially all it is. It's, it's just, a game you just have to go and play by their rules because you can't go to basic training thinking that you're going to call the shots it's, it's not happening i'm sorry i know you think you're you know what i'm saying you run your hood and all that but it's not happening in basic training just do what they say and your life will be a lot easier it'll still be hard though again everything is at a frantic pace um when I first got there, I was running before I, I joined or whatever, but I wasn't running with all of my equipment on. I wasn't running um, with boots. I wasn't running with a heavy uniform. And when I tell you that I thought my legs were going to break in half, I mean, that's how much we run. In basic training, you get in trouble for walking anywhere. The only time you're allowed to walk is if you're marching in cadence with the drill sergeants. Everywhere else, we're running. My favorite thing was to run the child though. Yeah, Bravo Company 310, you know what I'm talking about. I love running the child, but other than that, I hated running. It was hard on my bones and my legs. And, uh, ooh, child. Something that really stood out to me in basic training, those first probably two days of me being there, meeting my actual drill sergeants, was the first time we went to chow. Chow is where you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The first time we went to chow, it was like, it was like they were possessed. They were yelling at the top of their lungs. Um, they were standing on chairs. They were standing on tables. They were saying, get one scoop. You get one little small scoop. You're trying to get like, go, 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 go. When I tell you, it was so much going on. And there were a lot of people crying. There were a lot of people who were, no, I ain't, I ain't doing this. I, I, I ain't. What did you sign up for? What, what, did you, what did you expect? What did you expect this would be? But it was, it was so crazy. I can hear the drill sergeants now. I can hear them now. That was probably the first time that it really set in like, okay, this is real. This is real. This is real. But about the third or fourth day, um, things start becoming more routine. Um, it gets easier. I want to, I want to stress that to you all. It gets easier okay when you first get there you're gonna think i, I can't do this I, I don't know i just can't do this but after about three to four days things start becoming routine you kind of expect what's next and your body is getting used to you running all the time and you're not as sore um so just just stick with it and hang in there you'll be you'll be good the biggest thing is just to remember why you started didn't want to go home and be unsuccessful um, in my military career. I wanted to I wanted to start and finish this thing. The thing that really surprised me about basic training is you're always busy. Like they always have something for you to do. There's no chill time. There's no, 
oh, let me go chill with the homie. No, there's n there's there's none of that. There is none of that. From the time you wake up at 06 or 6 a.m., um, you're busy from 6 a.m. all the way to 7 p.m. I, I still don't understand how they have something for us to do every second, every minute of the day. You don't have to make any decisions. They will make them for you. I promise you that. I promise you that. But the only time that you're actually free from drill sergeants is Sunday. I don't know if you're religious or not, but I recommend you going to a religious service. It doesn't matter what you are. You just need that break away from your drill sergeants. And they can't mess with you on Sundays during those times. Those are the only times that you are free from the drill sergeants. Because you need that break, trust me. In Fort Leonardwood, Missouri, I met some of the coolest people um, that I've ever met in my entire uh, life. I still talk to them to this very day. It's been uh, four years now and we're still in uh, communication. Not as, not as constant as, of course, when we were actually in basic training, but whenever I hit up somebody I was in basic training with, we just pick up like we never uh, left. Um, we have that uncommon bond not everybody can say that they've did uh, basic training and those people that you connect with uh, they actually know what you went through because they went through it with you and it's a it's a one percent of the people who can actually get into basic training like i always say that's the most fun you never want to have again some advice um, that i could give you is to stay out of the way that's that's probably the best advice that I could give you don't get on your drill sergeant's bad side early that's that's literally the worst thing that you can do because the drill sergeants are looking for someone to basically pick on and 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 just 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 that the whole time that they're there so if you just stay in the back and you do what you're supposed to do and you don't cause a scene, your life will be a lot easier than someone who's talking back to the drill sergeant or, or, or blatantly disobeying a drill sergeant order. You do not want to be on the hit list, is what we call it. For me, uh, basic training physically wasn't as bad because I did CrossFit before I got there. so. Um, it wasn't that physically demanding other than the fact that my legs almost came off that first two, three days. But other than that, it wasn't that bad. But I almost died though. Yeah, I almost died in FTX, okay, let me take that back. I did not almost die. I did not almost die. But for FTX 3, which is a field training exercise, that's when you sleep outside in the cold. Again, you know I do not like the cold. We were sleeping outside in negative three degree weather. Sleeping outside in negative three degree weather in December in Missouri is not ideal. But guess what? I made it. I made it through. That was the hardest week for me for my whole basic training um, experience, my whole time of being there. I got about probably an hour of sleep a night. And when we finally got back to the barracks that Friday, oh my goodness. You would have thought that we all were at a five star hotel. We had heat inside of the room. We had a bed and, and cover and uh, I've never been so thankful in my life. But I made it, but I made it. One of the last challenges or, or tasks uh, that they give you is something called uh, Nick at Night. Uh, that's when you basically have to low crawl three football fields. You know what a low crawl is? You gotta lay on the ground and you crawl and it's low, so it's called a low crawl. You know, this, the Army has done such an amazing job at naming these things. But we had to low crawl for approximately 300 and 28 yards, right? So that, that, sounds, that sounds bad already, right? Check this out. They're actually shooting 
over you, right? They're shooting over you. So as you're low crawling, you're hearing pew, pew. So I've actually heard that they're actually shooting very, very high up. I mean, it makes sense now, but when I was actually doing it, I could have sworn that it was going right by my ear. Like it was, <laughs> the bullet was like getting the, the skin off of my face. But I was like, I cannot get shot in the head at basic training. That is not a good look. It is not a good way to go. That's what I was thinking. I don't know why, that's what I was thinking. So we, we crawl those three football fields and at the very end, that's it. That's it, That's that was the last grueling task that we had to complete at basic training. Then we had like a little bonfire celebration and it was amazing. I mean, we were all emotional. I may or may not have been teary-eyed. I, I can't remember, that was four years ago. But we were just so happy because we put in so much work each and every single day for two months and all of our hard work really paid off and we, we finished. Fast forward a few days was family day. Family day was so special because in basic training you don't get to have your phone with you at all. I think I called my parents twice since I've been there and to finally actually see them and hug them. Again, I may or may not have been teary-eyed I don't remember, it was four years ago. But my parents were so happy. My brother wanted to come, but he, he couldn't he couldn't make it. But I was so happy to see them and I was so happy for them to see my uh, transformation. It was so cold. That's why my mom is dressed like Queen Elizabeth. But anyway, but I was just happy to see them happy. And I was happy to see that I made them proud. The very next day, was graduation. That was it. That was our last uh, ceremony for basic training. I was so happy, so happy that it was over. Um, it was so cold again. I know I keep talking about it being cold, but y'all just don't understand Missouri in December. Whew. Whew. It was such a great day. One of the most uh, gratifying days of my entire life. But what tripped me up was my drill sergeants meeting my parents. They were the nicest people. I said, uh-uh, uh-uh, that ain't you, no, uh uh no, we're not doing that, we're not, we not doing that. They were the sweetest people. In my mind, I was like, y'all was just cussing us out three weeks ago, two weeks ago, last, but I get it. Again, it's just a game. We're playing it and they are playing it as well. But I was like, I know, I know you lying. I know you lying. But for me, I enjoy basic training. I mean, of course, once you're there, you're like, this sucks. I can't wait for it to be over. I mean, we all had like a calendar. We were marking X's each day. The day was over. Um, but I mean, once you finish, you realize how much fun you had. Some of the great people that you met. Um, Help me out. For, for doing this all over again. That ain't happening at all. But I do not regret my decision to join the military, to go to basic training. I wish that every civilian in the world could actually experience basic training. I felt like a new me at the end and I felt focused in life, determined in life. So that's some, uh, some takeaways from that. Thank you for watching. Uh, that was my Fort Leonard Wood um, experience. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, hit the bell so all the videos will be sent right to you. I'm going to be dropping all military videos Mondays at 6. All right? Y'all be cool, man. God bless.